said. I want to move on to another dua that is also amazing. Many of us complain about uh, not having a good house. Sometimes, you know, we're looking for another house. It's never big enough. It's never spacious enough. Uh, and so on. Many of us complain about wealth and money. You know, we don't have enough. So there is a sunnah dua of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which is narrated in Sunan al-Tirmidhi as well as uh, Musnad al-Imam Ahmad. The hadith is mentioning this dua. Allahumma ghfir li dhambi wa wassi' li fi dari wa barik li fi rizqi. I love this dua. It's amazing. O oh Allah, forgive my sin. O oh Allah, forgive my sin. Allahumma ghfir li dhambi. O oh Allah, forgive my sin. Wa wassi' li fi dari. And grant me a spaciousness in my home. That means grant me contentment, make my home such that I am happy in it, the house and the home, both of them, which means the living as well as those I live with and the conditions I'm living in. Make, make me content, make me happy, make it broad enough, make it spacious enough so that I, I, I'm not looking for something else when I'm in my home. It's sufficient for me. وَبَارِكْلِي فِي رِزْقِي And grant me blessings in my wealth. Now, if we think about the blessings in the wealth, we will come to realize that these blessings are not necessarily an amount, but rather what happens with the amount that we have. So when I say, Oh Allah, bless me in my wealth, it doesn't mean, Oh Allah, give me more and more and more and more, but Oh Allah, let there be baraka, you know, blessings to the degree that whatever I have is more than enough, sufficient for me. And I have, I still have excess. Uh, it's amazing. It's amazing because... A person who has a thousand dollars a week, for example, which is quite a good salary, a person who has a thousand dollars a week in a first world country, right? If their expenses are such that they cannot make ends meet and that's not enough for them, then they become people who might have a big figure, but they're, they're never content and there is no blessing in it in a short space of time. It's over, it's finished. But a person who might have less in figures, but yet when they buy, they find that mashallah, they have changed. They have a lot of money that is still remaining with them. They are happy. They are smiling. That is called barakah. That is the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings in wealth, we are actually asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, to give us uh, the goodness of being able to spend uh, in, the most, uh, in, in the most beneficial way. We've got the bargains, we've got the good deals, and we're happy. The quality of the product is really good. You know, if you buy a product and there's no blessing in it, it could be expensive, but it will be damaged in one day, broken in the same day. But if sometimes you might buy a product that's a little bit cheaper, and who knows, it could last for you for 10, 20 years. That is baraka. That's the blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is also a very, very good dua. Uh, I want to repeat it. Allahumma ghfir li dhambi, wa wasi' li fi dari, wa barik, wa barik li fi rizqi. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the, the barakah and the blessings of this. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really open our doors. My brothers and sisters, these are uh, very, very amazing uh, words of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Many times we look at these words and we think to ourselves, how did Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this Prophet of Allah, how did he think up all of this? Uh, how did he make a dua for these things? But like I say, it's a miracle, it's revelation, it's divine. It's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So definitely it is something that Allah has kept for us to benefit from rather than the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala needing it.